All right, so now that I've got my uh, colors started, I'm going to suggest using color pencils and markers if you're doing the prismatics and the marker with just use the Sharpie on this. Um, I would suggest if you're going to start with colored pencil, stay with colored pencil. So now that I have my prismatic set up, I have my overlapping here with the Sharpie, I'm going to finish up with my green here. And as I said, you don't necessarily have to draw all the pencil lines like I did up here. These I just did by using the next color. You can see I just have the yellow up against the green. So you're going to need to fill them in, uh, finish it up, and then in my next one here, this color form there, I'm going to do the uh, marker again. But as part of the rubric, I'm going to make sure that the line thicknesses, the distance between them, are a little bit more closely represented as they are here. You can see that these black, or, uh, black and whites are all relative as far as the size goes. So I'm going to make sure that I do that. This was such a small area that it was difficult to do. But now that I'm doing the black and white in a larger area, starting here, right? I got a small area here. I'm going to be able to do that a lot better. So I'll show you that here as I start in with the marker. Let me just finish up. First thing I want to do is I want to establish the bottom. Okay, that's how I started with these also. I started by picking the bottom color. So I'm going to do the same thing here. All right, so there's the bottom. Now I'm going to just, I'm going to thicken that line up just to basically like one more thickness of the marker. So I'm kind of just going on the double thickness of my bigger Sharpie here. I'm not going as thick as I did up here. All right, you can see I'm just kind of recreating it as a double thickness of the Sharpie. All right, so now I'm going to continue that same double thickness. I don't have to draw the interior lines. I'm just going to try to recreate the same double thickness as I go. Now over here, I need to, based on the rubric, I need to do some other color scheme, okay, other color scheme. And again, a color scheme is something that colors will work well together. So I grabbed a few neutral colors, a couple different, uh, what do I have here? I got lime peel, and again, it depends on what colors you have. If you have a set of markers that you think you can use to have a good variety, but I'm going to stick with the colored pencils on this one because that's what this was done with. So again, I'm going to start with a single color. Maybe I'll start with this goldenrod color because it contrasts with the green. It's not, a simil it's not similar to the green. All right, let me take my scrap paper out from underneath. And now I'm starting in on that third option for the color scheme. All right, I have prismatics, I have black and white, and now I'm doing the third color. So in this one, again, I can just come in and I can put in the thickness of that line. Now up against that, I can come in, and this is what I was saying about not necessarily having to draw all of the interior lines. I can just draw them with the next color. Okay. And the next color, so let me put them aside. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get all five, but I'm going to keep these five out. So I know what colors are going to go where. All right, so I'm starting with my golden rod because I'm going to have to use these colors again. Maybe I use them again down here. 
maybe I can't use them here because this is a singular form, color form, right? You can see how it kind of comes down. So I would probably have to use the prismatic color scheme again here. But then I have two more spaces down the bottom that I could use either the black and white or this other color scheme, color pencils that I have. So I'm just going to finish this up. And then obviously I would make those decisions later based on what I decide to do with the rest of the space. But again, what you do above helps to dictate what you're going to do below. So there's another color scheme. One, two, three, four, five different colors in there. And now I'll continue with, in this space, my prismatic color scheme. 